Zor is a place. In the biblical canon, the book of Genesis, there's a family, a, a husband and a wife, and their two daughters, and they're living in an evil city, and God basically instructs them to flee because he's going to destroy the city. And God set their destination as a village, a community, Zor. So they started on the journey. And, you know, like anyone, initially they had a lot of energy and a lot of drive to escape the current situation. And they had a lot of uh, focus as they were going about their journey. And after walking for a long time and becoming pretty weary, the wife gets distracted and she looks back at the city that's being destroyed. And in that moment, God turns her into a pillar of salt. And I believe that's really symbolic for what a lot of people experience in their fitness journey. You know, initially they set these goals and they get really excited about them. They have all this energy going towards the thing. And oftentimes it can be distracted to stay the course, to not be distracted, don't look back, uh, to keep your eyes on the destination, which for each of us is Zor. Now, we're all gonna have slightly different goals. However, how we go about them and the fact that we're going with other people on that journey is central to our community and what we believe. So that's why I'm always constantly reminding my athletes to stay the course, don't look back, right? Keep your eyes on your Zor, right? Your destination and make sure that you are enlisting the help of other people as you go about your journey so that you don't get pulled and swayed from all the stuff that's going on, all the noise in the environment. That you can have a group of people who are all oriented towards the same thing and be working towards a similar goal.